There are more than 30 species of rattlesnake alone, all carrying different venoms. While some venoms target the body's nervous system, creating havoc with the complex network of nerves that control its vital functions, others attack flesh and tissue, effectively starting the digestive process before the victim is even eaten. Having bitten its prey, the rattlesnake waits for the venom to take effect before feeding. Someone who has handled plenty of these creatures over the years is Jules Sylvester. Good place. He's been helping movie makers to get their dangerous animal footage for many years. And he's taking Jamie to find North America's most dangerous rattlesnakes and get a venom sample for future testing. But in this rugged terrain, this medium-sized rattler is extremely difficult to spot if you don't know what to look for. You can be standing right on top of a meter-long Mojave and still not see it. So Jamie Seymour has taken the precaution of wearing bite-proof Kevlar leg protectors. Oh, Jules, Jules. That's a Mojave. Very, very potent neurotoxin. It's most unusual because most rattlesnakes are hematoxin. Yeah, yeah. That's neurotoxin. The Mojave's venom is a complex cocktail of enzymes and other proteins forming an incredibly strong neurotoxin designed to block the firing of nerves, particularly those controlling the muscles. It's the quickest way to stop prey in its tracks. Nothing like the amount of venom we're getting from the other one. Right? Knock nerves out and it's game over. It's paralysis, even death. That's amazing, isn't it? The Mojave rattlesnake is not the only rattler in these parts. In the lower desert nearby is the larger and more infamous Western Diamondback. But despite their overlapping territories, each has a very different venom. Ah! <laughs> got you. Yeah, I got him. I got him. The Western Diamondback carries hematoxic venom that attacks blood vessels. Like many snake venoms, it starts the chemical breakdown of flesh even before the victim is eaten. Now that is your classic Western Diamondback rattlesnake. All the cowboy movies, this is the best Hollywood snake in the world. This, these guys account for more snake bites than any other snake in the country. It's obvious the rattle's making noise. I mean, what do you want it for? It's a warning for probably bison not to step on him. It. It's a go away, leave me alone. The Western Diamondback is more widespread and likely to be found at the edge of towns and cities. Another American rattler has adapted to a rather different habitat. The southern Pacific rattlesnake prefers the green coastal climate of the Hollywood Hills. The southern Pacific rattlesnake is the only one that's venomous in the LA area. Even though we've got thick bush here, we're one hour from Hollywood. Previously categorized as a B grade or low risk, this species is now emerging as a major threat to people living in the Los Angeles basin. As specialist snake bite physician, Dr. Sean Bush, knows only too well. Mostly we see Southern Pacific rattlesnake bites because the, those snakes live where the people like to live, that is, along the coastline and up in the mountains. These snakes often stray into people's driveways and backyards, and though it may be tempting to try and remove them, it is always best to exercise caution and call for help, as this man discovered the hard way. Took things into my own hands and made a big mistake. And within an hour or two, my hand was blown up like a balloon. This hospital is used to treating several snake bites a day, and when Dr. Bush received a phone call to let him know his own child had been bitten, he feared the worst. My son was actually uh, in the backyard and picked up a little rattlesnake and got bit. We actually had five snake bite patients in the hospital that day. My wife pages me, um, 911, you know, I'm thinking the worst, and I've seen all kinds of bad things uh, happen to people with snake bites. Fortunately, he did well, 
His hand's just a little bruised right now. He has a little trepidation around snakes now, which uh, maybe he should. Are you gonna touch it? I'm not gonna touch it again. Bye bye, snake. Bye bye. Bye, snake. Bye, snake. With its telltale menacing sound, the rattlesnake is in fact one of the easiest venomous snakes to avoid. The rattle is a benign early warning system, a device for making sure that anything that comes near is made aware of its presence. The way, come on, big boy, look at that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> a venomous snake stores its venom in glands just behind the eye, where it can rapidly supply venom to the injection mechanism, either hypodermic like fangs or finely grooved teeth. The fangs of rattlesnakes are hinged, rotating down into a stabbing position just before a strike. So how do the rattlesnakes we've seen so far score against Dr. Seymour's ranking system? One is particularly dangerous to man. It's the notorious Western Diamondback. Because this rattler is now commonly seen around southern US towns, it has more opportunity to strike at people, which, given its bold, aggressive nature, it frequently does. Its large, hinged fangs penetrate deeply into its victim to deliver its venom. And though not as potent as that of other rattlers, it can deliver enough venom to be potentially fatal if a bite goes untreated. The Western Diamondback is responsible for the most bites and deaths by any reptile in the United States. <laughs>